Sean. What are you doing? He sounds bad, but I'm not bad. <laughs> All right, I'll be quiet. Please sit down. I'm going to tell you a little story. This is good. And this one is bad. Now, there was a time when even the good was bad. Century. It's a piece of chunk. 20th century. A fortune. I don't believe I know you. My name is Peter Killerman, East India Trading Company. David Leung, master of this house. I don't recognize your name. I was invited here by Mr. Chen from the Bank of Thailand. Oh, yes. Welcome. Nice to meet you, Mr. Kellerman. Please enjoy yourself. I hope you have a great evening. I'm sure I will, Mr. Luang. Luang. By the way, where's the original? In a vault. Safest place for it. Thieves are everywhere. <laughs> English very well. When I have to. You have to. It's the only language that I know. Oh, pity. I find French more beautiful. Real man of the world. No, just gifted in a few areas. Language is one. What's another? Antiquities, especially Chinese. And I'm very good with my hands. <laughs> but, um, would you excuse me for one second, please? Are you leaving? I'll be right back. Okay. okay. at this and I don't even know your name but do you want to get out of here and go grab some dinner how about lunch tomorrow 1230 Jade House Hotel oh I can't I don't get off lunch until one break the rules my name is Janine Alsons what's yours Alex Cardo I see you there
you said noon, Alex. Kunta says lots of things, John. But his money's always good. That sword is way too big for him. He can't handle it. Who cares? Stealing from James Leong is suicide. He's got friends. He's got power. I also have friends. And I also got power. Don't tell me my business. Look, after we get rid of the sword, we take a vacation. You go visit your family in the country, and I work some contacts in Europe. You just disappear for a while. I'll get the car. Alex! I know I'm breaking all the rules, but I wanted to do it right, so I'm a little early. But I'm glad you could make it. Put your hands up. Where can I see them? You hide in the restroom. When they run after me, you sneak away. led him to a very dark place. But Master Sun, did you know such an evil person? Yes, he was my friend. How did you meet him? In prison. Weren't you afraid to be in prison? Yes, but the worst prisons are the ones we build for ourselves. <laughs>
Georgia can take care of myself. That man is Chen. These people have his protection. You have made him lose face. You are the boss. You are superior to him. He is new to the prison. Forgive him, please. <sighs> See, force is not the answer. It will break inside of you. Spirit is inside. It will never break. Yesterday, that block you did. I've never seen anything like that. Not a block. Well, that strike. Not a strike. The other hand. It's a way of being. I don't understand. Watch. No need to touch. To achieve the iron hand, one must live it, be it, attain a certain inner peace and focus. Why do you have a private cell? I've been here a long time. The guards respect me. Even the big one, the demon. He doesn't like me much, but he respects me. When did they stop the fight yesterday? The man you angered, Chen. He is the cell boss. The guards allow him to solve his own problems. You are in deep trouble. What kind of troubles do I have? Why are you in this prison? I stole an old sword. What kind of sword? A Japanese sword covered with jewels. A katana, Alex. How do you know my name? <laughs> that old man you try to save, no one in here would do that. Few would even care. But you did. If you wish to learn the iron hand, I will show you. Oh, 
many times I have to do this? Oh, until <sighs> my foot gets tired. Why are you in here? <laughs> what did you do, kill a student? Yes. And continue. I came from China to here to teach some Thai soldiers the iron hand. One of my students, a soldier, tried to rape a girl. Her brother came to her rescue. And the soldier killed him with my iron hand. They sent me to find him. I had to kill him. His father was a politician. He sent me here. That was 15 years ago. When you get out? Never. So my parents were missionaries, going from one stink hole to the next. China, India, the Philippines. You named the sewer, I grew up in it. Mm. You did not enjoy being a missionary, saving souls and spreading faith. It's just words, man. I was dragged from place to place. No friends, no roots. They came to Thailand when I was 17 and left you after. But I stayed. Which resulted you being in prison. No, I'm in prison because I got caught stealing. That's why I'm here. You are in prison because you never forgave your parents. And because you are a lousy thief. So look, why are you helping me? Tell me why. 25 years ago, I competed in the Kumite. You ever heard of it? No. Japanese word for fight. It is the most prestigious contest in all the world. Did you win or lose? <laughs> oh, that contest has no weapons, no prizes, no black belts. All but for a ceremonial sword. <laughs> a sword that someone stole. A sword? What's the big deal? The contest is a chance to compete with the world's best. It is a spiritual event. Look, I'm telling you, I'm not spiritual. Why is it that you keep repeating that to yourself? You deny that, and you become an empty shell, destined to be a loser forever. All right, look. Assuming I wasn't in jail. Assuming I was ready. How would I get an invitation? You earn it. So So The superintendent wished to see you. You better go. Guard. Son, it was a trap. Demon sent me up to Vai Chin. What are you going to do with me? I don't know. Attacking a guard is serious. No, no! Stop! I go in. Remember, inner strength. I'll be with you. Hear my heartbeat. 
And now Alex faces his greatest challenge, that of accepting his fate. How could they do that to him? Why? If I knew that iron hand, I'd smash that box and escape from jail. <laughs> but we cannot always run from our problems, and we cannot always fight. It takes greater courage to face our problems and be patient. When we have learned to accept ourselves, then begins the solution. And that is not as difficult as it sounds. Listen to what happened. I used your iron hand and chin. I don't even know how. Comes when you are calm. Never when you are angry. Nacelle, I heard you all the time. You never left. I gave you my promise. I used to promise people things, but they were only lies. The Kumite, I want to win it for you. It is not about winning. It is about finding oneself. <laughs> and I'm giving you my word. I will compete in the Kumite. Do not talk about the Kumite. Uh, rest first.
ไปทำงานIdea why you're here? Revenge. <laughs> A most unprofitable venture at best. If you look all around you, you can see very easily that I prefer profit. That particular item, which was mine, that you acquired, had a value beyond riches. It had a value of its own—a life, a spirit. It was a symbol. It was to have been the prize awarded to the greatest fighter on earth. The Kumite. It's about to begin, and there is no prize to be awarded. It's missing. So you find your previous partner, and he will bring the sword to you. That's your price for your freedom. Alex had a chance to right what was wrong. He might be bad again. Weren't you afraid to trust him? Fear and trust are two different things. Inside of each of us is good and bad. If I was afraid of what he might do, then I would invite the bad. But if I trust him, then I would invite the good, and that would allow him to help himself. What's your name? Alex Cardo. <laughs> Invitation, please. I don't have one. Then you can compete. Next, please. What is your name? I'll go. Next, please. <laughs> you call that a punch? Big leagues, bro. I can't let you fight the Kumite. What are you talking about? I got an invitation, pal. I don't care what you got. I'm your handler, and I'm telling you, you're fighting the Kumite. Yeah, well, who's gonna stop me? You, old man. I'm tired of playing with you, man. You go get your invitation, and you bring it to me, and you get the hell out. So, what's your story? No invitation. It's too bad, my man, because you're gonna miss the biggest high of your life. Look, I have to compete. I made someone a promise I would. See that big guy? He's a handler. If anybody can help you, he can. 
Thanks. Hey. I mean, someone I promise. I heard you can help. Hey, Flash! Come on over here, bud. Yeah, what do you want? I got a deal for you. You want to keep your invitation? All you got to do is whip Cardo. You ready? No, you don't. And remember, if we go up against each other, I'm not holding back. Come on. Next, Priest. Excuse me. How did you obtain this? He earned it. Welcome to the committee. Good luck. Next, Priest. Sorry. Next, please. Oh, my, my, will you get a look at that? Who's she? Kim Pam Black's the first woman they ever invited to the Kumite. Isn't she something? She eat your life. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi, you beautiful. Rumor has it that you want to go out to dinner with me tonight. Well, let me put a stop to that rumor right now, because I go to dinner when I want, with whom I want. I'm sure you know where to stick it, but if you don't, I can stick it there for you. So, uh, the thing is, uh, you're busy tonight. Huh? Alex, what do you think all this is going to cost me in Toto to have the sword returned? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> What, he's just gonna walk right up and hand you the sword for old time's sake, eh? Oh, I think he'll give it up for a very large sum of money. But it doesn't have to be yours. Then whose? <laughs> what does it matter? As long as the job gets done. <laughs> <laughs> And gentlemen, welcome to the Kumite. We are priests to see, fighters from every continent represented here. And it is our hope that you all will honor your schools and countries by competing strongly and fairly. You know this guy? We've met.
this flight? Thanks. Sergio. Sergio to seven. Alex Cardo. You got it, dude. Okay. What's your style? It's my style. I'm a street fighter. Yes. So what do you think you're doing? What's the matter? I don't want you talking to these guys out here because you might have to fight them in the ring. You know what I'm saying? All right. No problem. What are you doing here? I'm gonna ask you the same thing. I'm working for your old partner now. How come? About a week after you were arrested, John called me. He offered me a great deal, and before I knew it, I was working for him. He's done quite well for himself. And for me. Not what you think. 
It's none of my business. I'm only here for business. It. He's got something I want. And I'm sure he'll be happy to give it to you at a reasonable rate. One million American dollars. I'm willing to bet he'll accept, but I have to talk to him first. How can I reach you? By coming here. If you're asking me to trust Mr. Shu with my address, phone number, anything, you're asking too much. He wants to do business, we do it here. Meet me here tomorrow night at the same time. Close to the deal? To hear if John's interested. Patience, Alex. You're rushing into things is what got you in trouble last time. Alex! Do you mind if I sit down? Sit down, please. Can I tell you something? Sure. You know, I might have to fight you in the finals. And I want you to know, it's nothing personal. It's always personal. We just have to make it honorable.
He was locked up forever. He didn't look that way to me. Obviously. And he wants the sword back? He's willing to pay a million American for it. <laughs> then set it up day after tomorrow, 9.30 in the morning. Alex was one dangerous bastard. And he knows I set him up. No problem. If ever I have to make sure someone dies in my life, this is the time. Thank <laughs> you.
You're not going to go for it? No, 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 no. John's very interested. He wants to close a deal here tomorrow morning at 9.30. 9.30? That's difficult. If it's so important to you, how can it be that difficult? All right, 9.30. That's it? Don't you still owe me a meal? I think I do. But not here. Let's go. OK. I don't know what it is about him. The son changed my mind about a lot of things, mostly about myself. When will he be released from prison? He won't be. I'm thinking that if I could save enough money, I could maybe buy him out. What? You just seem so different from how John describes you. How's that? He says that you're only one for yourself, and that you never think about others. It was more of an act to keep him in line, but there was some truth to it once. Now? Now I hope there's not. I'm trying to find out. How? By honoring a promise I made to Sun. What was the promise? It's a secret. You're really not as bad as John says you were. Is that a good thing? I don't know. <laughs> Yet. Alex, when you go to meet John... You want to finish what he started three years ago. How did you know that? Because you still think I'm dangerous. Are you? You be careful too, Shani. And don't be there at this meeting tomorrow. I'm going to have to take you home soon. Got our business to finish. Let's go. No favors, Alex.
take. Nice fight. Demon for me? Yeah, I guess I did. What an idiot. Hey, Ty. What's your real name, anyways? Uh, it's Raymond. Raymond. Right. So, here we are. Another day. You still refuse my help. Any kind of offers of assistance. <laughs> I really don't understand. And I've only got one question. Why? Not our Alex stole the source from you. Uh, and now? That Alex is gone. Well, I understand all that, but uh, it still doesn't answer my question. Why? I know what the sort means. I have ever since prison. You've entered the Kumite, but does that alone mean that you must refuse my help? I did this alone, and I think I should fix it alone. Even if you die in the attempt? I um, still don't understand, but I trust and respect your wishes. I shall see you at the committee. Good luck, son. Hey, how do you guys get out of the hospital so long? Well, we checked ourselves out. Well, there was no way we are going to miss the final. Listen, I want to get something to drink. You want something? No, I'm fine, sweetie. Yeah. So, um, where's Alex? Well, I told him to get here early. That's weird. Hey, Sergio! What's up, fellas? Sergio. Hey, Cliff. So, would you have any idea where Alex might be? Uh, he's been hanging out at this restaurant. You know what? I'll go see if I can find him. No way. Let me go with you. Hey, Cliff, make sure Kim knows that Sergio and I went to the restaurant to try to find Alex, all right? Yeah. Okay, buddy. Thanks. All right. Let's go.
Alex, Alex. Uh, all right. So, you're still a little upset. Just a little. If you would have been in the same position, you would have done the same thing. Well, then you didn't know me too well. Look, I'm not here to apologize. Good. Where's the sword? Okay. Now, do you have the money? <laughs> well, well, well. It seems you have the money. Just a minute. So we're done? I guess so. Now take the sword. Carlo, what's going on? Now! Oh, you gotta, gotta get out! You're right, man. I think he's gonna be okay. It looks like the bullet went straight through, Alex. I think he's gonna be all right. You're a true warrior, Alex. Come on, come on. Oh, no. Hey, take good care of him, all right? Am I losing a lot of blood? Listen, you just get better, okay? You just get better. He's gonna be fine. You tell Alex to kick demon's ass. I got you, bro. You can't fight. You're bleeding. Watch me. Hey. You got a kumite to win. No, I don't. Okay? Can you do something for me? Alex! Oh, 
soon. Just me. something I'd have readily said three years ago. There is a reward for it. The reward has already been paid. I used my influence. His reward is here, tonight. Chop!
I cannot remember a time when we have seen such demonstration of skill, endurance, and courage. It gives me great pleasure to present you Gatana Soul and honor you as Kumite Grand Champion. Alex won the Kumite and gave me the sword. So you see, it is possible for all of us to have good and bad inside of us. We have get to get to go. <laughs> what is it? Did I miss something? Didn't he ever get to kiss the girl? <laughs> Like this! 